One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you all hear that? We're here. Hello. Not sure if I'm coming through. Hi. All right. Did little push-ups, but I don't know. This thing is locked up on this side. Let me see here. So it's just spinning on my end. Can you guys hear me? All right, there we go. Yes, we can. You, you all did hear me. For some reason, it has uh, paused here. I don't know I'm sure what's going on here in the place. There me? it is. All right, we had a little. All right, very good. All right, hello. Good to see you guys. Push-ups now. Yes, got to start out with little push-ups. Get the blood flowing. Got Armored Gaming here. We got Jeff Shaw here. Mr. Octopus. Puss, octa push up. Yes, I did more than eight. So that's octa push up. Yes. Actually, Eric, it will be probably Donald New Mexico who will say they're fake. Uh, yes, indeed. We're going to cover fake news. Eric's comment on this uh, live stream. Good to see you guys. Imperium labels here. Barbara El Nabi is here. Barbara Carbone is here. Grog the Devourer is here. A good cast of characters already. 23 of you and only four likes. Yes. All right. And Juan Ortiz is here. Hello. And Silver Starter Stacking. Good morning to you. Because uh, Silver Starter Stacking, I think, is in um, Australia, I think. Three subscribers without any videos is here. Wonder if he's got more than three subscribers now. I'm curious now. Let's see if he's got more than three subscribers. My guess is he probably does. 490. He's got 490 subscribers without any videos. He needs to change his name. All right. Malaysia. All right. I knew it was somewhere over on the other side of the world from where I'm at. Very good. I got some cookies here. We'll get into those in a minute. But we're going to begin our quest for dominance on responding to comments right now. Good to see you guys. The markets are reacting and behaving in a weird way. Crazy. Look what's going on in these markets. Their gold is up $7. Uh, the big winner today is silver up 1.5%, 26 cents up. Holding on above $17, that's nice. Platinum's down five bucks. Palladium is down 18 bucks. Rhodium is down 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. But where were we? We were right here. Let's get into some of these comments and see what we got cracking over here. Very good to see you guys. All right. Hey, Stacking Stormtroopers. Love sounds no content. Stacking Stormtroopers here. Spectacular is here. Here we are. So we made it. Your true friends are here, my true friends. And Tommy Gun 762 is here too. Mm, I appreciate you guys. Definitely. A native stack is here. Jeff Shaw ordered the five ounce silver moon coin today. Nice. From the US Mint. Let's get down to some of these comments. Good to see you guys. Let me make sure this aspect ratio is conforming here on this light stream thingamajiggy and then get into the minutian secretary minutian all right here we go all right here we go now we're catching up all right let's see here and avalanche gotta wonder what the accelerating shift to excel electric cars will do to palladium you know i'm not sure but i know platinum there is i posted a video about it that uh, platinum about as much platinum that is used for catalytic converters could be used for electric vehicles. I don't know that palladium can. Uh, so that's why I think there's a, a potential for platinum to, to go up. Richie Bravo always says buy low, so high. That he does, I guess. Richie Bravo, indeed. Hey, hey, thank you, Jeff Shaw. Jeff Shaw says I got a great channel. Well, thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. All right. And Silver Wolverine is here. Hello. All right, got to run. Stacking Stormtrooper, thank you so much, my friend, for popping in. Here's a slurp as you exit. Ah, there it is. Drain the Swamp 2.0. Hello. Good to see you. We're again working on becoming more diverse per portfolios as Armored Gaming. Yes, it's a good idea. I think it's good to, 
to grab a little bit of uh, other metals while you're out there or other investment opportunities, you know. Very good. Hello, Cash Potatoes Kennedy. Thank you so much, my friend. You know what? In order to be the man, you got to be around the man. And that's you and everybody else and all the women, too. You guys are great. Plant them down, good time stacking. Yes, slurp it up, brother, says drain the swamp. I'm draining this coffee cup now. Mm. Yes, Silver Wolverine, I did get that. And thank you. I didn't get a chance to respond. But sometimes I like to go check out the other side. And CNN, go to CNN.com right now, Silver Wolverine. Look at what they said. Crazy. That means that what you posted, what you sent to me in the email, has an effect that they're going after. It's crazy. All right, anyways. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Cliff uh, 30K says, look how many comments and how fast. It's exactly like I'd hoped. Any robust movement in the PM market stirs up interest. That's right. Sure does. And there has been growing interest in the precious metals, even when they've kind of gone back down a bit. All right. Slurp for Barbara. Donald, you missed the push-ups at the very beginning of this video. Uh, so you go ahead and say they're fake now. Mm. So that I can feel complete. All right. Fiat Destroyer says, thanks, Sal. Thank you, Fiat Destroyer. Appreciate it. This is on the mindset of a silver stacker video. I'm hoping that video sums up. I mean, I'm sure I missed some things in it, but this is a pretty comprehensive look at uh, what I think the mindset of a silver stacker either should be or or is, I think, for the most part. Uh, hey, oh, man, we should not have started this uh, live stream without Eddie's little stack. So we're going to reboot it right now. Here we go. And, yes, spectacular. These slurps are pre-recorded. I don't have any coffee here. All I do is press a button and... <sighs> And share the button press, and then I slurped. It's how you do it. It's just a, you know, it's a, it's a sound file. It's a little MP3 I got loaded up there. It's whenever I have it. Super Genius says, I just placed an order on Saturday. Darn, I know. I, I hear you, brother. It's, um, you know, I've got a, some coin show pickups, and, and right now I'm losing because of those. I bought them when they were higher, so I hear you. Eric Casagrande, yep, gold and silver are drinking buddies today. There you go. That's right. They sure are. Cheryl Lay is here. All right. Good to see Cheryl, as usual. Feels great to win. Yes, it does, Centuri Sylvia. Yes, it does. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, yes, oh, I know, Silver Wolverine. I hear you. Silver back to $14 yet. No, Bob Silver, so you got to keep on stacking those Hot Wheels, my friend. Keep on with the Hot Wheels until it comes back down. D. Peterson says, hey, heavy metal sal rhodium is going to the moon. No manipulation there. It's up 700% over the last three years and going a lot higher. Well, but the thing is, is how do you know there's not manipulation there? How do you know there's not manipulation to the other direction? See what I'm saying? Uh, that's what I'm talking about. But yes, all right, very good. All right, Jared W3 says, now I want to listen to Machine Head, 10-ton hammer. Yes, indeed. And Jared W3, I'm surprised you didn't notice, but Hammerfall. A little shout-out to the metal band, European metal band Hammerfall. Very good. All right. Let's see here. All right, Silver Dragon says, I made my biggest one-day purchase on Saturday. Wow. Silver Dragon, way to go. Big purchase. Hold on to it. Don't be discouraged. All right, hello, Ozzy Alchemist. Good day, Salivate Metal and the Marination Nation. That's right, Marinating Nation. That's right. We'll let it marinate a bit. Mm. Ophi Matrix is here, and Bull Street is here, a new uh, chat participant. Hello, Bull Street. Maybe a new viewer. Appreciate you being here. Mr. Doe is here. Yes, it helps. There's no paper rhodium. Okay. Is there paper palladium and paper platinum? I don't know. But speaking of platinum, you want to see 40 ounces of platinum at once? The best way to do that is to go on over and check out Mr. Doe's video, his newest videos. Um, Barbara Carbone, I know you're, you're not going to be happy with me. i got these little great value mini chippers, and I know they're fattening and stuff like that. There's 130 calories in them. That's a little thing. I haven't eaten them yet, but uh, yeah, but I might have one here in a minute. All right, very good. 50 viewers. Wow, smash the like button. Let's see. We got 50 viewers and 26 likes. So we got about half half of the people 
thumbing up the video, uh, which is cool. Appreciate you guys. All right, let's see here. Let's uh, go back to this here and see what we've got going here. All right, very good. Barbara G says, hey, Sal, as usual, great video. Thanks. Well, thank you, Barbara. I appreciate the um, kind words and for you watching. It means a lot. I appreciate it. All right. Yes, great value. This is Walmart brand. Exactly. Now we know where to find me. I'm a Walmart. I'm, I, you wear my pants low, and uh, you can usually see my butt crack when I bend over to pick up the pork and beans, that type of thing. Uh, Thomas Garza, dollar is on, the emer is, is on the emergency room, and they're trying to make it strong again, manipulating real money. Well, what is interesting, Donald Trump wants it to go lower. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I, I think it's probably just the fact that it's um, the best thing out there and the fact that it's kind of the – world's premier reserve currency so i don't know hello mark b good to see you that's yes so sexy he's got that vision in his uh, brain demetrius sarsanis is from greece hello demetrius demetrius good to see you sir appreciate you being here from greece all right greece is the word they say hello coins a to z hello to you all right moving on up Losing Louie says, I was worried about this. I'm not so sure the dollar was strong as much as the rest of the world was weak. That's right. That's why it was strong, I think. Did you notice that interest rates opened up and dropped steadily throughout the day? I think it's a sign of concern around the world. Um, yeah, I really wasn't paying attention to the rates and how they were actually fluctuating daily. I don't really have not seen anything like that. But yeah, it's, um, I know that this whole um, uh, repo thing, madness, is continuing on. And will continue for the next nine days. Uh, I gotta have a cookie. I gotta have platinum to the moon. Says coins A to Z. All right. Hmm. Hmm. No, right. Ozzy's gonna buy a ten ounce bar tomorrow. Very good. Hmm. Hello, Carl Electrum. Happy Tuesday, Silver Crew. Good to see you. All right. Silver Honda, who drives a blue Honda, says, going to order the new 2020 Perth Kookaburra. Got to let it all marinate. There you go, my friend. Yes. Yes, I think they're on pre-sale now. I might get one next order. All right, let's see here. Fiat Destroyer says, yes, I'm itching for that feeling of shifting the old pickup into reverse. If you know what I mean, I do know what you mean. I don't drive a truck, so I can't, I can't do that. Ah, by the way, our resident bouncer, Eric, is here, which is really cool. Good to see Eric, as always. JG says, uh, some people forget the purpose of, of silver and gold isn't like stocks. It's not there to flip and make a quick buck. It's there to preserve your wealth in a dynastic way. That's right. Basically, it's um, if it's a, it could, and some people might be, depending when they buy, it will cross over generations. And move on to the next. Is what he's saying there. Very good. All right. Hello, Medio Man is here. Hello. Felix Kersner says, hey, Sal, I hope there were at least two youths there. Yes, there were. There was, actually. There were a lot of kids there. They were putting on a program at this particular show. Thank you. Coincidence and nonsense. Those are really nice. I have some coming as well. Maybe they know she's not going to make it to 2020. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that's really... Um, what it is but yeah you never know let's see here all right let's see here soon to be buying again hooray very good toshio celebrating the low prices most of us are when it does that very good all right block man yes sit on the cash if we're patient we can find good deals out there hello members one and all of the salvation nation says cct good to see you my friend all right, he's here, and it's late at night, and he's still here. Bob the Monk says, I just purchased two quarter-ounce American Eagle Platinum 2004 coins at 275 each. Also got 40 one-ounce bars for 1950 each. I should receive the midweek and other collection-proof coins that have acquired 55% drops. The silver drops around 1650-ish. I will be getting a 100-ounce bar and drop even more. We'll look for a 1,000-ounce brick. Wow, Bob. Yeah. All right, there you go, waiting for it to go low. No tax on bullion in Canada. Very good, bullion bug. All right, very good. Nice to see you guys. We got 55 watching now, 34 
thumbs up and one thumbs down. And no, Terry Rabideau, she must be mad at me. She must be mad at me. She's not here. Anybody Can anybody contact her and see if she's mad at me and see if I can, anything I can do to make her happy? Not sure. I don't know. Mm. Tommy Gunn says, great job in doing your push-ups on Sunday's live chat. Who would win between you and Alan Gold? Probably Alan Gold. I don't, I've never seen what he looks like, but my guess he's probably tougher than I am is my guess. I'll go ahead and assume that. We got Time Lord with three thumbs up. Very good. Thank you, Time Lord. Mr. Doe says here, herd mentality with palladium spot on sale. Ruthenium, ruthenium is rare, more so than gold. And look at the price, just $246. What a bargain. Where can we get physical? Now, that's a fringe metal. Very true. It is. You can probably find those in one of those chemistry um, or science uh, element sets, probably. All right. That's my guess. In May, platinum was just $800 spot when I bought. I had $30 premium per ounce. Might be adding even more soon. The herd is away from platinum. That's where I buy. Patience is key. Very true. You might be making a good move there. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Coin Sense and Nonsense. Very cool. Intaglio, two ounce. Love the design. Awesome. Libertad. Hadn't seen that one before. Congrats all around. Nice gold grabs. Coin shows are good for savings on tax, too. That's right. They sure are. They are very good, especially nowadays. Let's see here. Let's see. Okay. Tricky guy. Hmm. Consider this. Every purchase of silver is at spot price. Why? Because sooner or later, silver's price will swing enough to reach or dip whatever price one pays. Anyone can truly claim to purchase always a spot. Sooner or later, $2 premium doesn't matter. Tomorrow, a $3 premium will make 2 bucks look cheap. It's always relative. That's true. This is from the proof. That silver is a hedge and not an investment. That's right. We buy it. It sits there immune from the worst the Fed's can, sketchy fiat can do. That's insurance. Protection of one's buying power and it costs nothing. Silver insurers itself. All other nominal assets eventually rust or get eaten or whatever. Very good. And in order to invoke this gentleman into this live stream, I must. he's probably listening right now. So I've got to say his name three times. I almost did it in the comment below. I don't know if you saw it or not, but. Here we go. Let's see if he shows up. Are you ready for this? We must invoke the tricky guy. Tricky guy. Tricky guy. All right. And I just pressed one because Mr. Octopus says to press one if you just pressed one, which means I just pressed one. So I've got to press it again. Here we go. All right. Very good. Coin Sense and Nonsense says the various reports, investigations from Washington that are due soon or likely to rock the market. It's going to be interesting all around. Thanks for the article and discussion, my friends. Good stuff. Yes, I agree. There's a lot going on up there, and I think there's going to be that. I'm going to, it reminds me to want to eat another cookie. Mm. Jeremy, when do the numbers from the Gold and Silver Institution usually come around? I myself don't believe silver should be this low at all. It's great for buying if you didn't spend all the fiat you could already for the time being. Congrats to buyers out there in the community. You know, I'm not exactly sure. I want to say March, but I might be wrong. I'm not sure. Trojan Magician hopes silver drops more. Yes, so you can buy. Very good. And people that say that are those who really believe in the metal, for sure. So that's good because you know that it's just a... Um, uh, it's a temporary thing, and it's going to come around. Sal agrees that Sal shaves off his hair. Yes, indeed. I, I shave. I shave something. Where are we at? Okay. There he is. He finally shows up. Tricky guy, you're late. I've already invoked your name three times, and it took you this long to get here. That was quite a while a ways ago. Hello, Chris Easter. Yes, great day for stacking for sure. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Pamela Rice. Appreciate you. Pamela Rice is here, everybody. She likes the show. All right. Very good. 20 years, probably, there will be a machine invented that will just gobbles up any landfill, dumps, spit out ingots of silver and gold, and every element nicely sorted out, ready to package. How much silver is in the world's dump sites? A lot. 
when does the supply begin to warp? And that's the thing, is is whenever that whenever they, whenever they can find that device to do it, uh, economic make it economically viable, they will do that. Uh, one of the things that will take to do that is we have to increase it, increase it uh, rapidly. Uh, in other words, the price is going to have to increase. Uh, how much? How much? And with a machine, all the mines and all the bond stocks simply put down for a day, a few hundred years, with such a machine, recycling can approach, say, 90%. Yes, I would say, though, that's not, I would say so. Silver is recoverable. Make no mistake. Tricky guy's got a good point here. All right. Tricky guy arrived immediately. I missed it. Oh, darn. Mike Miller says, if you're buying PMs and selling, when they go down, it's because of your portfolio. If you have one, it's not diversified. Folks that sell low have no other interest. Yes. And that's a good point. Diversified doesn't hurt as much. Uh, all right. If if platinum hits $800 again, I'm Buck is buying bigly. Bigly. Coin Collecting Fund gave me a like. Thank you, sir. All right. Coins A to Z says, if I was a day trader speculating on the metals, maybe I'd take regular notice of the normal volatility of those metal prices, but I'm not wearing that hat. Said I'm simply in the accumulation phase, and if the metals are less costly to buy, then that's the correct time to buy. But when they are historically expensive, that's why, for example, I'm not buying palladium but instead buying platinum. There's bargains to be had in platinum right now, but not in palladium. I agree with that totally. Yes, indeed. Yes, sir. Well said. I think pal palladium is overpriced, in my opinion. Ah, that coffee is good. Tastes delicious, too. Kevin Paulson says, seems like a lot of a lot like 2012 when there were big price swings on silver throughout the day. Maybe we are going to see dollar plus swings intraday. 2012 silver was coming off a top and now we are coming off a bottom. I think we soon shall see. Yes. Yes, I'd have to take a look and analyze those numbers from back then. But yes. All right. Very good. All right. Thank you, Barbara. She's still with us. All right. Nice. You know, Royal Mish says even when JP Morgan can't raise silver despite being caught manipulating it yes indeed that's right okay <clears throat> told you all the metals rise and fall that's right ac you're exactly right they do rise and fall indeed they do uh greer thetis one october is always an interesting month for silver between the libra and eco and coming economic winter silver is going to rise like a phoenix Plan accordingly, friends. Yes, indeed. Plan accordingly. We shall see. The winter. Step stacker. Woo, go dollar. Unless you're trying uh, to retire right now, then dang it. I know exactly. Yes, <laughs> step stacker. Timing is everything, is it not? All right. Ooh, native stacker bought some platinum a few weeks ago. It's on a Chevy. Nice. Congrats. Zip Fix Guitar says, good, I'm buying some in the morning. Very good. All right. Good reporting, Sal, says Eddie's little stack. Well, thank you, Eddie's. Appreciate that. Southern Stacker, time to buy if you've been waiting. Yes, good time. Pop in while there's a dip. Kevin Lee, Sal, I have to ask if silver goes 100 to 1, will you hedge some of your gold holding? No, I will not. Um, that's a good question, but trading the gold to silver ratio, you're likely to more than likely, even if it goes that high, it's going to be tough. You're not going to get nearly as much depending on most, because most of the places you trade it for, even at LCS, even if there's an tax withholding, they're going to, they're going to, uh, give you less for your silver or less for your gold and, and, um, and charge you more for your silver. Hey, Terry's here. The one and the only Terry Rabideau. We missed you. I've been lamenting you're not being here last time. Good to see you, Terry. There's a slurp in your honor, even though that does nothing for you. We, I thought you were mad at me. I was having a complex, Terry Rabideau. What's going on? How you doing, uh, Terry, Terry, Terry? There's Terry. There she is right there. Everybody say hello, Terry. All right. Terrorize me, Terry. 
Tricky guy. There's a company that's mining metals from waste. Oh, wow. Interesting. I have to check that out. Brady Carpenter says, I'm guessing the message here is buy some dang silver. I thought we were collectively letting the silver prices drop. Then once it starts going up a tiny bit, like emergency sometimes, making silver go up, bye, bye, bye. Baby, bye, bye, bye. All right. I got to have another cookie in honor of Terry. Mm. Chief the Chieftain is here. Mm. I'm to see him. All right. Rob Go, for everyone's info, the Chinese mint uses metric grams on ounces. They're 30 grams. That's right. Yeah, this was a, an old video. He's posting that. But, yep, you're right. I use grams now. Fiat Destroyer is here. Hello, Fiat Destroyer. All right. All right, very good. Cyber Curtain Twitcher says, glad I've been holding cash for the past few months. Not ready to pull the trigger on any more gold yet, though. I just got notification of a change in rates on my savings account down to 0.1%. You know what? Mine is like less than that. I think mine's 0.01. Hardly surprised that I have the grand sum of $2 in that account. Yes, I know. I tell you what, it's crazy. Mr. Octopus, in your opinion, what is the minimum percentage of a paycheck uh, we should use to buy precious metals? Um, they say anywhere between 5 to uh, 10%, probably. But it should be none of it if you um, have other obligations. But I would say yes. Coins A to Z, you must have missed it earlier because I did say hello to Pamela Rice earlier. But we glad that Pamela's here. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Terry. You're awesome. I'm glad you're not mad at me. Same here. I could not be mad at you. All right. But yes, we're glad. We're glad Pamela Rice is here, too. Great lady. All right. Yes, indeed. Do money market way more liquid. Okay, cool. All right, Mr. Popzilla, fun times, Uncle Sal. Yes, indeed, fun times. We have, we have fun on our live streams from time to time. We do. In fact, I'm going to, let's see here, see if I can uh, initiate something. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll try it. Um, let's see here. Sometimes it's not uh, all that uh, reliable. But we'll give her a shot. People saying here, okay. Let's go over to grab something. Grab a doobie. Sal and Terry sitting in a tree with Barb sawing off that limb. That's right, exactly. Okay. Ramon Tobias. Ramon, okay, all right. There's Ramon's direct number. Let's give Ramon a call. Wonder if he's a member of the Ramones. Let's give him a buzz. Ramon. The call you have attempted is unable to connect, either due to an error or you may be attempting to dial an invalid calling area. Oh, I know it's wrong. If you believe this is a working number in a valid calling area, please check the number and dial again. Okay, the I'll check the number and dial again already. Already. Get great you people. All right. Let's see here. Sinister Gates. They're both guitar players are good. He's good too. Sinister Gates. Yeah. From Avenge Sevenfold. Avenge Sevenfold. Oh, come on, man. Come on now. Ramon told me that I told him I'd be calling tonight. Actually, I did tell Ramon I'd be calling tonight. So he better answer the freaking phone. Of course, he's not going to answer the phone. Jeez. I feel so cheated by these scammers. You know what I'm saying? You get my, you get my drift? And I've got to figure out what one of these... 
Okay, we could have Rosa. We already called Rosa. We already we already had fun with her. We would probably initiated that beyond our repair. All right, let's see here. Armored Gaming, thank you for the super chat, my friend. He says, what if enough of us bought enough SLV and took delivery and could not deliver? What would would that send gold to the moon? Would it end manipulation price? Um, it's never been tested, um, Armored. <clears throat> and uh, I don't, we literally would have to, it'd be like moving a mountain to get everybody to try to test that. And I don't, I don't I'm not even familiar enough with, uh, if there's a way to actually do that, I don't know if, if you buy SLV, if you can actually cash out into the physical, it may only be, uh, for, um, taking cash and then it just represents it. It's a representative. It's a, like a promissory note that we promise you that there's one ounce of silver for this, for your 18 bucks or whatever you put in it. Um, and there may not be a way to actually get delivery of it. Um, or, or it may be a big, or it may be some big, uh, big effort to get it out. You may have to pay fees to get it out. I don't know how that works, but all right. All right, take care, Fiat Destroyer. Appreciate you. But good question, Armored Gaming. Lincoln Gosnell, do you know how many of your newest two ounce rounds have been minted that are being sold at Atmex? Uh, they are going to be pretty much to demand. Um, and uh, so once this supply runs out, if it runs out in any amount of time, then they will get more. But if it takes a long time, then that'll be it. Um, that's the way it is. It's been, and basically, it's one of those things where Atmex is um, kind of gracious to allow it to be sold there. But if these hang around there for six months, they may decide, well, you know what? They've been very, very slow. And so we're not going to carry anymore, that type of deal. All right, let's see here. If Neil Pert was beheaded by ISIS, his headless corpse could still outplay Danish criminal <laughs> Lars Ulrich. Yes, probably true. This coffee I'm drinking could probably outdrum. All right. When do we get paid by Atmex, Sal? When do we, you and me, Donald? I don't know, man. It depends how many push-ups we do. Florida Stacker, evening. Hello. Um... Let me see here. I'm going to try to find another number to call real quick. Early here. Shore funding. Let's call shore funding solutions again. These people always answer the phone. <clears throat> I'm going to get Matt Lauer on the line here. Matt Lauer. Let me see here. Ah, let's see here. Uh, okay, hello. Uh, hello, thank you for calling Troy Funding Solutions. We'll be glad to help you get the capital you need for your business. Oh, let me get us some information to get you started. So let me. Oops. I, that's the lady I talked to the last time. She was too sweet. I couldn't mess with her again. So I had to, I had to, I had to end that one. Let's see here. Correlation between oil price and silver price. Um, you know, it's probably a, uh, there's probably not much of one really, or there's a slight, but it's a better correlation between oil and gold. And it all goes back to the dollar index, really. Oil price is kind of tied to the dollar index. So there's probably a, a bigger tie-in to the dollar and oil and gold. Uh, in other words, since the, and even though the petrodollar, as it were, is not really as much of a thing these days, the fact that the dollar is kind of the world's kind of reserve currency, the biggest of the ones, uh, that might be a better metric to look at it 
Um, and that's why um, prices went up. Here's an email from Rose. What did this say? Why isn't it opening? Come on, Rose. What happened? Rose, come on, open up, Rose. All right, your old thing. I don't want to waste. I want to earn your business by giving you the best deal I possibly can. Everything back to me, and I'll get numbers within 24 hours. A pleasure speaking with you, Rose F. SBL funding. No phone number for Rose. All right, let's see here. Okay. All right, let's get back here. And oh, Matt Connell. Yes, Matt, I still need your help. Here's his phone number. He's in California. He's in Santa Ana, California. Santa Ana was the former dictator of Mexico, by the way. Hello. All right. Hey, all right. Take care, Lincoln. Gosnell, appreciate you popping by. Kiss from a Rose by Seal. There you go, Mr. Doe. I can play Kiss on a Rose by Seal. All right. We are calling Matt Connell out of California. Come on, Matt. He wanted to follow up with me to see if it was in the market for line of credit since we previously we approved in 2018 for line of credit 4.15%. So, hey, that's there's that, you know. All right, Sal Bucks. Sal Bucks. You needed Sal Bucks. Your Sal's gals. You want to buy a sticker with some Sal Bucks? Okay, let's see here. We're trying to call him again. It's worth redialing Matt Connell. It's just worth it to me. It really is. That's where I get my jollies. Where are we at in the spam folder? Let's see if we can grab anything here. We're not having much luck. What I really want to... Oh, Fast Capital. Let's see. Fast Capital will let us call. No numbers there. No luck anywhere. No luck anywhere from these crackers. Rachel Davis. Where's Rachel Davis? Shore funding. We already tried to call shore funding. We had the same lady answer. They're there all the time, though. It's crazy. All right. Let's get back to the comments here. No luck on the... Uh, on our thingamajig on our scam calls today no luck if one comes in i'll answer it mma matchup scott ian of anthrax versus patriot broadcaster alex jones gotta go with scott ian because alex jones is um busy uh Trying to find the next conspiracy theory with the gills and and fish gills. We all have fish fish gills. You know what I'm saying? Where are those billionaires to buy silver? Crash J.P. Morgan. Yeah, exactly. That's what we need. We need all the billionaires to buy. We need the billionaires and millionaires to buy all the silver up for us. All right. Let's see. A part-time prepper says. May be the time to buy a big platinum buy. Excellent update, Sal. Winter's coming in more ways than one. That's true. Prices will go up again soon. I agree. I think platinum is the bargain right now. That is the bargain metal, in my opinion. Mm. Songs SJJ. Are some stackers off the rails? Chris Twain, not sure what he is thinking. Um, I don't know. He tends to be... Very, very bullish, I'll put it kindly, on silver. Um, to the point where I don't think he's being honest with us about it or himself about it. But anyways, Vega Stacker says, I've been selling on eBay for now it's time to buy again. Amazed at how people buy high and sell low. Even my LCS, the LCS says that's what people tend to do. That's right. That's true, Vega Stacker. It's, it's crazy. It's insane the membrane. Donald New Mexico says silver will be worth more bartering um, as long as you barter in all capital letters. That's exactly what Donald New Mexico says. Coins A to Z says platinum to the moon. Three rockets there. The rockets red glare are 
Any Canadians in the house today? Yes, indeed, in their houses. If you're a Canadian and you're inside your house, raise your hand. If you're a Brit and, and oh, Armored Gaming loves pullbacks. Yes, I do too, Armored Gaming. Glock man, wisdom knows wisdom, and that it does. All right, Hot Neo says, I called it months ago. Got to look at the charts and look where it has been most of the time and read it right. Still hitting this one for the next SmackDown to sub $15. Trump beats the living crap out of the Democrats with this impeachment, and they're nothing burger. The Chinese wants to make a deal rather than wait for the landslide election. Silver goes goes down to the lows at the beginning of the year. Okay, yeah. You know, uh, Hot Neo, he called it before, so maybe we'll see what, where he is coming out. Um in the beginning of next year. Yes, where is all caps gold? I don't know. Pamela Rice's dream is a bathtub full of USRR Palladium ballerinas. Oh, yes, USSR playing banner ballerinas. Those are nice, aren't they? Fact, play, uh, Pamela Rice, we have a viewer, uh, a YouTuber on here named PD Ballerina, and her uh, icon is the ballerina. I've got a silver one of those, by the way. I've got a 1993 silver ballerina, but not a Palladium one. All right. Rilo says, I've been waiting. Just bought more in the red. Buying the dips. Who cares about the red? Look around the people. The world economic system is collapsing. And you're worried about price drops. All right. Well, it's uh, the world economy is, is definitely in trouble, but not necessarily collapsing yet. Official crash cash rate in Australia also went to 0.75% today. Uh, says El Poor Cano. Thank you, sir. All right. Is she wearing a tutu cell? Oh, man. Who's that, Terry? I don't know if she's wearing a tutu. Yes, indeed. But I've got a date with Destiny, and she's ordered the lobster. Spectacular says, good video. Sal Platinum was the biggest loser today for sure. That it was. It sure was. All right. Silver Wolverine says, I think Chinese stocks should be delisted from the U.S. stock exchange. We should separate ourselves from China as much as possible. Who needs China? Nobody. Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Try saying Alan Gold's name three times aloud. Maybe he's in lurker prison like I was. Mm. I don't think that's going to work, tricky guy. Um, oh, ballerina. Oh, yes. Yes. She was wearing a tutu. Yes, Terry. Yes. She was wearing a Desmond tutu. She was wearing a Desmond tutu. All right, tricky guy. I'm going to, what's the word? I'm going to oblige you, all right? I'm going to try this out, see what happens. Are you ready? Here we go. Alan, Alan, Alan. Sounds like a law firm. It's a law firm of Alan, Alan, Alan. And if that doesn't work like Terry typed it, Alan Gold, Alan Gold, Alan Gold. Let's see, show up, Alan Gold. 72C here. Message retracted. Did you see that? I saw it. He said 72C, and then he retracted it. Now it's forever enshrined in this live stream, forever, Donald New Mexico, because it was a word. It was code. That was Donald New Mexico's code for, let's see, 72 was probably the year that, um, that was the year that what's-his-name lost the election to Nixon. Um, and C was... C stands for communist because that guy was a communist, whoever he was. Yeah, anyways. Mr. Doe, if we like what's happening with titanium and the building of the SR-71 could be comparable to rhodium palladium and some future technology. Ah, yes, could be. Coins ADC, do you remember two years ago, I think it was Provident Metals that released a statement regarding the two-ounce gold elemental mint Egyptian god series, Cleopatra high relief gold? Yes, it was actually a four-ounce gold. And what I understand is they were on sale. They were listed on their site for a while, and then they took it down. And I missed all of that. I missed all of it. Um, and, I'm, I, and I must confess, I'm still a bit sidetracked because I'm still trying to decode Donald in New Mexico's fake message there. I'm still trying. But uh, maybe that 72C means platinum to the moon. But I did miss it. Somebody alerted me to it. But I was like... And I talked to Jake over at Provident Metals, who's no longer there, by the way. And he said that uh, they did it just basically for fun. They kind of wanted to see this and see if it would sell. I don't know if it ever sold. All right, take care, Glock man. 
Good to see you, my friend. Have a good evening. Have a great evening. Appreciate you. Media man. Hey, Sal. Yes, the Canadian dollar strengthened even more. So I bought a proof one ounce 1989 gold maple leaf in box with COC for 2% over. Dude, what a great deal. By the end of the day, my purchase turned out to be 2.5% over. Price has kept tumbling. Now the Canadian dollar is dropping and gold is starting to go back up. It's a roller coaster ride. And it gave me a like 183. Well done. Great purchase either way, even at 2.5%. He did well, my friend. Well done. Here's a slurp in your honor. Ah, yes, sir. Exercise tricky. All right, tricky guys. Start doing jumping jacks. You know, oh, 72C. That's a bra size. Must be metric. Where's Donald go? Where? Okay, Donald. All right, so Donald's back. He gave a laugh. All right, so Donald is... Uh, is that a cup size, Donald? Help us decode that 72C. We got to know. We got to know. Man, markets, please, Sal. Markets. All right, here. I'm gonna manipulate them right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in Australian dollars. There's my manipulation right there. It is. Look at that. Gold is up to 2,207 Aussie dollars. Silver is up 2582 in Aussie dollars. Aussie. Platinum is up there. 1,312 and 65 day mighty. Palladium is saying, tie me kangaroo down and put me wallaby in a sports bag for $2,480.61 there. Rhodium is up $7,756.58. I need to find a nine so I can say nine. I like the way Aussies say nine. Niner, niner, nine. They just say it really like in passing. You know what I'm saying? That ain't a knife. This here is a knife right there. That's it. That's right. I don't know if I got a Queensland accent over there. If I'm over there somewhere near, uh, maybe I'm somewhere near Alice Springs, maybe. You think it's an Alice Springs type accent? You think I'm closer maybe to Melbourne? Maybe Abalone or whatever you call that place up there. Maybe I'm in the northern part near the reef. Maybe somewhere near the uh, Canberra, the capital of Australia. Yeah, something like that. Alabama could be Mobile Alabama accent. That's probably what it is. It's an Alabamian accent there, mate. That's what I got right going right now. This is my Alabamian accent. You got it. Crikey. Son of a motherless goat in heat. It's a tough accent to pull off here. That's right. Whenever I do my Australian accent, I tend to wave it around a bit. You know, a bit, just a slight bit here and there. Drink some scotch and tune into the accent. That's what they say. I'm going to read some comments in this. Since I got it going right here. I'm going to keep the accent up. Let's see what we got here. Jake Corona 984 says, It's a marathon, mate, not a sprint. And you can hear me now because Verizon is almost as good as Sprint. It's on the same network. So it's a marathon, not a Verizon. That's right. Here we go. Eddie's Little Stack wants a whole video in that accent. He wants to give it a shot. You ever watch the channel Aussie Man Reviews? Dude, it's effing hilarious. I might have to give it a shot, mate. Still not bad, says Aussie Alchemist. I'm a limey fork flinger, says Terry. I like it. Sound a little like Mick Jagger. Oh, man. Some say I got moves like Jagger. That's what she said. That's right. Nowhere near, Sam. More like USA. All right. Audio's upside down. That's right, John Donald. You got that. You hit that right. Crikey. Armored Gaming's been thinking about it more, and if a collapse does happen, most people do not know what coins are silver or not. I think food would be better off of butter. Well, Armored Gaming, I got a suggestion for you, mate. Check out me uh, playlist in there. It's called uh, Silver and SHTF. Explains it all, and it's in me coffee. But I slurp it right now. The slurp ain't got no accent. You'll try it. See, here, give it here. Right, here we go. Awesome this. I need to tie me caffeine down there, sport. All right. Where are we at? All right. Jake Corona, not only for the South of Kings on his uh, coinage purchases. Well, in this case, it's a pleasant surprise. No offense to the king, queen, you know. Um, Stephen Heath would be quite offended if he was here and I said anything bad about the queen. Oh, man, all right. Uh, okay, so Pamela Rice has got a great question up here, folks. Are you a bull or a bear or a motherless goat in heat? Well, I've got to say, that's a good question. I tend to be pretty positive, so that gives me the bull category. And I do like to be in heat, but I mean, goat's got a mom. How's that? You know what I'm saying? All right, there you go. Share me coffee. All right, I need a drink right now. There you go. Come on over, Terry. All right, I'm Buck. 
Looking like last night was a dip. Thanks again, Sal, for turning me on to those two ounce. Canadian Mounted Police only bought because of no coin. Great looking corn. I like kind of like the design on the reverse of that son of a biscuit. It's pretty good. In fact, I got to tell you, it's pretty sweet looking corn there, I got to say. All right. Das Boot. This is how to avoid buying the fake gold bars video. I buy them at the seller cuts me, uh, lets me cut them in four pieces first. I'd rather cut them in four pieces first because gold is gold and it's still going to retain its value when the gold prices go higher. So cutting them means nothing to me. I won't buy unless I can cut. Well, good luck to you, mighty, because most places ain't going to let you take it out of the old uh, car there. You better bet. It's just to grab yourself one of them PM verifiers like I talk about in the old video there, Doss Boot. And you can boot your way in up to more gold there. How do you think about that? All right. Hello, Cliff Turdy Gay. It's my brother from down under from another mother. Did you call? I have heard of men's bras, but never seen. I don't know about the sizes. What size cup was he wearing? It didn't say in that old article. That was the most important question I should have asked. All right. Sal Dundee. That's right. That ain't a cookie. This is a cookie. Mmm. All right. Got to snap out of it now. Mmm. All right. Ah. Uh, Gold Merkin. Now he gets to spend every day with a stainless steel toilet in his cell. That's right. Very good point, Gold Merkin. Stainless steel. All right. Ah. Uh, William Birkin Road. Some countries such as Norway have a sovereign wealth fund, with each Norwegian family having over 100000 stake in an annual cash dividend check. Our USA system depletes the business and families by federal, state, and local taxes. Property taxes funding our school system to 18. Then, oops, welcome the interest-bearing debt instruments USA. Palming off the medical and health insurance and actual care of the USA, Inc. and our corporation. That's why we lost Chrysler and General Motors. Uh, the Nordic countries are leading the patent tech for EV, so China is a buyer. What about the report from the dividend paying cash in the world, PM Silver and Levitt? Well, the problem with the Nordic countries is even though they're not engaged in actual socialism, they have a lot of socialistic tendencies, and they don't have to pay for their own defense. Um, essentially, if they're contributing that 2%, which is just 2%, uh, you know, the USA spends more than any other country in the world for military spending. There's a reason for that because we're protecting most of the world. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Uh, oh, hello, Silverback Stacker. How you doing, my friend? Silverback Stacker's here, everybody. I don't know that he's posted a video in a while, but give him a subscription anyway, Silverback Stacker. He does amazing work in the poured silver stuff. Coins A disease has got to run. Have a terrific remainder of the day. Thank you. Take a squeezy to you. All right. I say more like a pinchy gravacho. Pinchy gravacho. Gringo. All right. Let's see here. Eric Casagrande. I agree with you, Sal. There's no monetary value to the Libertad beyond the silver and gold content, and thus it is around. But I would like to see the Mexican government monetize them. Well, and that's just it, Eric. I think... And you heard me mention this. Well, maybe not in this um, in this video, but I talked about it in a more recent video that I think the government did monetize them. Even though there's no value, they've sanctioned them as money for their weight. In other words, they're saying that silver is the money. All right. Do you think the student loan debt is one of the biggest problems? It's a shackle that can never be taken off. Uh, what will happen if the debt is forgiven? Oh, it's a huge problem, and especially in the United States here. Um and it is awful. Um, these universities that get bigger and bigger, they become these behemoths and all these different schools of this or that. Most of the stuff in, in colleges these days are fluffed out with all these different programs. They're not really down to the basic science, English, math, and then your areas of study. It's been fluffed up. And, uh, so, and it's gotten so expensive because of it. You've got tenured professors and the like, and, and, and honestly, there's an agenda, and most universities have an agenda, and that agenda, I think, too, is part of the problem, these universities, but that's just my opinion. But uh, anyways, hello, Clever Coin. Good to see you as we finish our coffee here. Clever Coin is with us, and uh, Jeff Salacero is here. Hello to you. 
Good to see you guys. And I'm sorry if I miss some of you guys' chat here. I know some of you guys are talking with each other, too. Uh, oh, my video editing software has a virus. That sucks, Silverback Stacker. What software do you use? That sucks, dude. Can you uh, uninstall it and reinstall it? I wonder. I'm curious. That's crazy. D. Peterson says, Hi, Sal. New 100-ounce silver bars are up for sale on eBay today for less than $17.60 each. Wow. That's crazy. Um, it's a... All right, let's see here. It's BS excuse, Sal. Oh, 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 okay. It's Oh, you're just... Okay. Um, I see you're joking around. I see. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I'm trying. Just too lazy. No worries. No worries. No worries. Yeah. I, I tell you what, it can take a little bit of time especially the well-produced video. In fact, I find, you know, I'm just being honest with my live streamers here. Uh, the more time and effort I spend on a video, the less views it gets. There's videos where I, I finish it and I'm like, oh, I'm going to delete this before I even publish it because it just sucks. And then it does very well. It's kind of a strange thing. You know what I mean? And it's because I get those creative juices flowing. That's what she said. Big Daddy. All right. First, says Eric. By the way, hello, Big Daddy. I think you're new here, too. So Eric was first on this video today. Silver investing hits record. Sal, Eric stole first place. No fair. That's right. He's not going to go to the fair now. We forbid him from going to the fair since he stole first place. That's his punishment. So Tricky Guy gives the offense right here that Eric stole. And then the punishment right here. No fair. He will not go to the fair. Tricky guy, where are you, tricky guy? What happened with all that Nazi gold at the end of World War II? Um, I think the Jews stole it. No, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It went to Quebec, says Mr. Octopus. There's a slurp. One of my customers is an American student here. He went to a foreign student and surcharges tuition as much less. Okay, wow, yeah. Yeah, I imagine so. Yeah, it seems like America is a uniquely American thing, an expensive a school. Do a drunken rant. Uh, yeah, do a drunken rant and go viral. There you go. I'll drink a bunch of liquor and then get on here. Yeah, rant with that accent. There you go. Thanks, Barbara. Yes, indeed. Armored Gaming. Luckily, I do not have any student debt that's going to buy my photography degree. It would be worthless, so I did not go. I would only go for a STEM degree now. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and I tell you what, when I went to college, uh, many moons ago, three years ago. Well, no, I'm kidding. I it was a long time, but I, I, I didn't have any scholarships or anything like that. I just, I just paid it off. I took a, I had a, I had a student loan, and I just with a lower interest rate. I think it was like a two percent interest rate, which was really good back then. But uh, anyways, puke all over your computer. There you go. When I do my drunken rant, exactly right. Philip Inman, silver enjoyed record demand in September, huh? I don't know, Sal. Now, this is an example of somebody who didn't watch the video. He looked at the title, and he didn't even read all the title. This is what Bullion Vault is saying and uh, in record demand in September. It was a record in the last – it broke a record, a two-year record. And for them, it was true. Um, uh, so that was actually true, uh, Don, uh, Philip for that, for what they're saying. And I, like I said at the beginning, it's anecdotal, uh, which is, but it, but it could be a sign of other places too. We'll see what the numbers come from other places. That was kind of thing here. Oh man, $400 per year. That's a great price. Wow, Medio Man. Silverback Stacker, I tried paying my student loans off by stripping. The balance on my loans went up. Oh my goodness gracious. Now, the only thing I can imagine the Silverback Stacker would have done is he worked night shift on a floor cleaning crew and he stripped the floors and then waxed them. Is that right, Silverbacks? Is that what you mean by stripping? Because my mind is not in the gutter. It is on the gondola of, a, of an aisle of a grocery store. All right. Sal, 2024, make PMs great again. There you go. Yes, student loans are debt slavery, slavery to the government. Yes, indeed. All right. Eric says, fake news, Sal. We stackers know you don't invest in PMs. You hedge with it. That's right, Eric. You're right. In fact, I even posted a comment as such 
a little disclaimer, not first, but in top 10. Thanks, Sound. Thank you, Brown Dog. Appreciate you, my friend. Brown Dog Prospecting coming in for that. Frederick Brand, can you send me the link to the video where you talk about the ISS failure? Uh, no, Frederick Brandt, you have to go find it. But I did post a video uh, talking about how they did not work out. The ISS, International Silver Syndicate. Frederick Brandt will never forget that. Um, and uh, yes, indeed. And we'll talk about it. Never forget ISS. That's right. But Frederick Brandt, you can still, if you want a memory of that time period, hop on over to MK Bars and grab one of my channel uh, rounds and get Silver Wolverines too and everybody else's. Grab some channel bars, some MK Bars, Frederick Brandt. That will be your memory of the situation, right? Indeed. Yes, indeed. Then you will remember. You won't have to forget it because you'll always remember. You have an icon there. See, here's my thing, my disclaimer. I'm going to heart my own comment, and I'm going to tell Eddie that I – whoops. I will look here, and I did on a live stream – not live stream, stream, a stream. There we go. Here we go. Worst salesman. All right. Sal, have you ever paid a bill or debt using silver coins? No, I have not. It would be cool to do. I'd love to try it sometime, but yes, indeed. I mean, there we go. Eddie's little stack saw that I saw his comment. Right there it is. I'm going to even highlight it. Look at there. I'm going to hide my comment in Sal's. I bet he won't even look here. And I did look there. Everybody can see it. Hello. Jason Bone is here. Hello, Jason Bone. Good to see you. Ah, there you go. All right. Frederick Brandt, stop changing the subject. Let's get back to ISS. Frederick Brandt, I want to just talk about the International Silver Syndicate with you here today. That's it. Don't talk about anything else but the ISS. You're forbidden to talk about anything else other than the International Silver Syndicate. All right. Christopher Sanchez says, Bologna, silver, baloney, silver at $17.32. At the time, 3.48 um, p.m. All right. Uh, well, yeah, I didn't – yeah, I didn't say it wasn't. It's actually uh, more than that now. Where is it at now? It's a, oh, wait, let's get back to American dollars. 17.31 now. Frederick Brandt, stop being lazy, you goblet. You freaking goblet. Go search for it. It's very easy to go search for my videos. You can do it. And again, talk about nothing but the International Silver Syndicate. That is your mission in life. That's it. Fred's riled up, isn't he, Barbara? We've got them all riled up. Let's see here. All right. It wasn't a scam at all. It never was a scam, um, our, uh, Frederick Brandt. <clears throat> hey, take care, Jeff. Please look Roosevelt's silver purchase program. Oh, the, I didn't know he had a purchase program. You show me the link, tell me the video. I want to soak in your failure. You don't even know how to spell soak. Frederick Brandt, you can find it. Yes, go live and yell at me. I want you to go live, Frederick Brandt. We're going we're gonna to live stream your live, Frederick Brandt. You go live. Hello, Chef Capone Jr. Silver holds the future. Eight healthy tonight. Right low, wake up and the world economy is imploding. This will be the worst depression the world has ever seen. Stacking is not an investment, it's a lifeline. There you go, all right. Thank you, sir. All right, let's see what we have in the thing here. Crocodile Dunsal, that's right. All right, Wahlburger Productions, you can buy a house in silver in Australia. That's really cool, very cool. All right, let's see here. We got some more comments rolling in here, rolling like thunder. Under the covers, rolling like thunder. Precious Metal Updates. Uh, let's see here. Is he here? Precious Metal Updates here? Yes. Hey, Sal, I will be lurking. Thank you, PMU. Appreciate it. All right. Sal made Terry mad. No, Terry said she wasn't mad. Thank goodness. 
too few girls and few too few Thai girls in here. I'm out. Brett Brandt. Let the door hit you on the way out, Frederick Brandt. Can, will it hit you hard on the way out? That'd be nice. Be cool. All right. Lurking, lurking. All right. Very good. Nada Stacker says, sell great article. I wonder if the U.S. Mint would sell more if they lowered the price of some stuff and have better handling practices. Very interesting SLV intro. Um, uh, I would think they would too. Um, I think they're hurting themselves, and it's not a good uh, mark for David Ryder. I think he's focusing so much on the technology side of things and some of the offerings that he should be focusing just as much on quality and control there. Armored Gaming would love to put several kilos of silver on the table for property post-collapse. Yes. It would be cool. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see here. Eric beat Tricky Guy here. Press five of Sal should start a GoFundMe for Tricky Guy. <laughs> oh, boy. Crazy, crazy. Donna, New Mexico, in lowercase letters. Hey, Sal, I thought you said gold wasn't an investment. I did. Read my comment below. I'm reading the article, essentially, talking about it. It's not an investment. It's their words, essentially, not mine. But rather than go through and every time they say investment, correct it and say hedge, and I just figured, well, we'll – see what they're talking about. The point of the video was the demand going up and uh, or, you know, on that side. But anyways, I just a little stack. When the price of silver trends upward, we see so many new faces buying silver. The demand will increase as the price trend upward. That's right. Slurptitude. That's right. A multitude of slurptitude. And here we go. <coughs> Please look at the link I sent you. Full name. Uh, in the email, I think I saw it, um, and I have to check it out and look into it a little more. Is it by email full name? Is that the one you sent me by email? Uh, let's see here. But thank you, full name. Yeah, sorry if I don't get back to your emails. Uh, by the way, I apologize in a duly time. Got a lot of stuff to go through and everything like that, but I will eventually. So I appreciate it. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. Ron Lucard, the guy is a trumper. His opinions suck as much as his god-awful intro grind. All right, he is a trump. All right, very good. All right, let's see here. Let's 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 do this. God bless Donald Trump. Just to troll this guy. Sorry, Barbara, you didn't see this. All right. Mason Trick says, sorry, guys, I had increased my game by 82%. I had my coin stolen in 2017. Oh, man, I'm sorry, my friend. Along with my car and most of my father's estate, what did I do? I rebuilt the return blown-up car, restored my coin next big time. Now I'm back in the studio to do another album. How did I do it? I worked seven days a week for about two years straight. I refuse to be a victim. There are always problems. It's how you handle them. What gets you forward? Semper Fi. Wow. Uh, well, Mason Tricks, I didn't know you did music. That's awesome. And well done. I hope they caught the bastard who stole your stuff. Um, but well done, man. Hard work or well done, my friend. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's see here. On chat. Okay, where is it? Uh, send it again, full name. Send it again because I didn't see it on the chat side here. Let's see here. Medgasky says, great pickup, Sal. Thanks for the show and tell. Let's see here. All right, very good. Resilience. Uh, let's see who else is here. Coins A to Z. Oh, I said bastard. Yeah, sorry about that. Apologize, CCT. Today's stock market, US dollar index, PMs except silver and a half of all cryptos down. Apparently, a rough day for many people who invest their money in one or more assets, in spite of the fact that platinum to the moon. Yes, indeed. That was from 45 minutes ago. We're going to finish out this coffee here. We're going to give this one final slurp. It's not much left here. Hopefully, Barbara's still here. Let's see here. Ah, all right. Very good. It's appearing. Sent it a few times. I don't see it. It's not showing up here. Email it to me, uh, a full name, salivatemetal at gmail.com. It may not allow you to post links here, probably. All right, there we go. All right. 
Thank you, Barbara. Yes, indeed. What did Native Stacker start? Uh, silky smooth. Yes, indeed. All right, let's get up here. Out of time. I think the CEO of Overstock.com, Patrick Byrne, buying all that gold and silver may be the reason for the uptick in gold ownership. No. I mean, uh, I can say to say that's not the case. He doesn't quite have that much money to do it. Um, but uh, but it is encouraging to see somebody doing that. You know, so do have you ever purchased monster boxes? No, I've never have. If I had enough money, it would be cool to get a monster box of eagles. But um, I think I have enough silver, though. Shout out. She's Jennifer, and she thinks her slurp is a bong. Okay. Uh, is Jennifer in the chat here? Is she uh, next to you physically during the swamp? Shout out to Jennifer. These slurps are not bongs. This is actual coffee. I've never even smoked, um, not ever even taken one little puff of uh, the old Mary Jane there, the 420. Some call it the chronic. Other people say it. Never even took a puff of it. But here's some water. I'm going to slurp now. All right, there you go, Native Stacker. Yeah, that's right. Well, what I mean is that uh, I think I have enough that are, I can't really see justifying getting a monster box. What I would probably do is if I had the money to get a monster box of silver, I would probably get a um, some more eagles. I mean, some gold. I know Jen's number, same as Sal's. I didn't inhale. I promise I, I, you know, I may have tried it, but I did not inhale. I, <laughs> that's really true. That's the truth right there. <laughs> Why do you call me fast, Eddie? No way. <clears throat> they call me Slick Willie. <clears throat> Fire Trace. Just received notification that my order of two of these are on the way from Provident. Bit of a delay in this. The delivery date was August. Hopefully worth the wait. Yeah, I'm still waiting on mine from uh, Monument Metals. The the, uh, the two ounce and the one ounce. All right. Okay, here it is. Okay. Uh, let me see. I I see the name now. The full, uh, full scan. Let me see here. I see the link now. Uh, but it's not, it's just showing up in a search. Oh, I need you to do, you, you, you took off a space there. Let me see here. Making it of economic superpower. Some stuff come up in Japanese. It wants a login information. You're going to have to email it to me, I think. Uh, it wants me to log into something. Let me see here. What is it? Full name. Have to edit it. Well, I just closed it out again. Let's see here. Let me see here. Hello, Jim Farrell. Stop by the say. Still breathing? Yes. Good to see you, Jim Farrell. Appreciate you popping in. Let me try this again. Let me try this again. Full name. Let me pull this up again. Uh, I'll take out the dashes and the space. Hopefully the rest I don't have to edit. Franklin D. Rosenfeld, Silver in China. Read online free. Okay, okay. Journal of Political Economy. Uh, you got to sign up for the account to do it which I don't want to do. Oh, it's by Milton Friedman. Oh, Milton Friedman's a brilliant economist from the Hoover Institution. Uh, boy, I'd like to get that, but I don't want to sign up for a whole... I don't want to sign up for something to get it. Uh, but yeah, if you if you can download it as a PDF or something, email it to me. Dude, I will check it out. Seriously. Silver Purchasing Program. Okay, yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, I'll, I might do a video on it. All right, where are we at? I might consider signing up for the thing here. I don't know. You can post the abstract. Okay, well, um, yeah, send me an email to the abstract full name. All right, I appreciate it. Bill uh, Quintrill says, bring me Jamie Dimon's head on a stop pike. Personally, I bought 20 ounces of silver yesterday just because it was sub-17. <laughs> There's a day coming when many of us will not be able to buy 10 ounces a month or less. 
Did it go below 17? I must have missed that. Thanks, Bill. Clinton with an Australian accent. Oh, how you doing there, mate? You know, I sometimes like to tie me Monica down there, sport. That's right. I like to tie me Monica down. That's right. Oh, you know, use a cigar too. You know, she loves those cigars, I tell you. <laughs> that's for sure. Get a few monster drinks in me. We'll do it. That's right. <clears throat> Anyways, low blood pressure says monetary silver goes up and falls in price. Yay, no manipulation here. That's right. All right. Sup, Mr. SM and everybody. It says, like my own name, get your own food stamp. Someone's going to take food stamp if you don't get it back. All right. Omega Show. Amazing video ever. 10 out of 10. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate the vote of confidence. Fib, 1-6-8-3-5-8. I think retail demand is showing up across the board. Another dealers I look at, including Atmex, although I rarely acquire there, are out of RC and 10-ounce bars, sunshine and 10-ounce bars, and all sunshine rounds. Monument had some sunshine buffaloes. And I didn't like their price. I couldn't find a thing I wanted. I was ready to pull on a tube of 25 maple leaves last night at sub-17 ask, but held back at the last minute. The shelves are bare. JM, Silver Atmex, Silver SD Provident, etc. cetera. Uh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, so he's saying that, uh, but that's, I don't know. Uh uh, hell, but the shelves are bare. But how did you know? I had some buffaloes, but I didn't see they're like their price. I couldn't. Hmm. Don't know what to say about that because I don't see anything where he's talking about that they were bare. What was missing? There's nothing there that says that uh, you couldn't buy. Maybe the prices weren't exactly what you're right, but there's plenty of silver out there. And I think this will be a long time before we see that uh, demand really pick up. But that's just me, but anyways. All right, what do we have here? I, as an Englishman, hope the Comex goes down to 16 per ounce for the next weeks, then it goes back up, and eventually it stays around 20 ounce per spot. We can all hope. Cheers, Mr. Salivate, and y'all across the pond, and give my regards to Kim, my ex-wife in Asheville, North Carolina. Well, hello to the ex, and thank you, triple X one one. D. Peterson's, hey, Sal, Warren Buffalo will hopefully invest $1 billion in a physical silver market soon. I think what that will do, the price may. Well, that's true. I think that might have an effect of the, on the price for sure if he was to do that, but I doubt very seriously uh, that'll happen. All right, very good. Let's see here. I think we've exhausted all of our comments. Let's take a look at the markets right now and see what's happening. We're seeing activity, very little bit of movement since we last were here. Uh, Silver is the big winner of the day, but the metals really generally overall aren't doing much movement upwards, just a hair. 1479 for gold and 1731 for silver. I don't know how to do a Scottish accent. I don't know how to do them in a Scottish accent. I don't know how to do that. My Scottish accent tends to turn Australian, mate. Sorry. I don't, all right, call me dirty names with a French accent. Hello, Terry. My Terry Rabadoubi. I want to, I don't want to call you dirty names, uh, Terry. My French accent turns into a Russian accent very quickly. I don't do it. All uh, right, Indian. Hello. Hello, I love you all to tell me your name. Yes, on the corner over here, I need to call a scammer. And, and, and figure out what the accent is from India. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to call the scammer from India so that I can figure out how they talk, so that I can repeat how they talk. That's the only way to do it. So I need to find the and a scammer from India to do it, to call them, to talk like them. Let's see here. We got the scam number here. And I'm, I'm doing a horrible job here. I don't I've got to figure it out. Press one for Australian, two for Scottish, three for put me out of my misery. There you go. Italian. And Baba Carbone, how you doing? Let's have us some pizzeria. Let's not forget the diarrhea at the pizzeria. Indian scammers. Be careful. Nasty Indian scammers. Leave your message as a tone. Whoa. Went that was cool. Did you, did you hear that? Listen to this. Somebody hacked into the scammers. Mail, uh, phone. Listen to this. This is great. I 
I don't know if you all heard that or not. Yeah, he said scammer. He said Indian scammer, beware. Let's see if that happens again. This is interesting. I'll do that, Donald, if we get one in here. The blue. Want to go to the blue? All right, here's another one. Hello? Hello, somebody, can you help me? Can you help me here? I want to, I want some help. I want some help over here, please. Can you help me? El Porno. Hey, thank you, my friend. Super chat from New Zealand there. 15 New Zealand dollars. Thank you, my friend. El Porno. Hey, we're calling some Indian scammers, El Porno. Hopefully, we'll see. Maybe they'll answer. Sorry? Yes, go ahead. Yes, I got a call from this. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Uh, yeah. Where do I? Talking to Anthony Brown? Yes, yes, you're talking to Anthony Brown. I've got a problem with my social security number. What's going on? Okay, sure. Is this the phone? Hello? Is this, yes. Is this the same phone number on which you have received the call, Mr. Anthony? Yes. What number do you see on your caller ID there? Okay, sir. The reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your social security. Yes, before you continue on, can you before you continue on, can you tell me the number that you see on the caller ID, please? Yeah, it's two zero two eight six seven five three zero nine. It's five three oh nine. That's right, it's five three oh nine, mighty. That's right. Go ahead there. Yeah. Go ahead. What's wrong with me social security number there? Is it tied up with a wallaby? Let's call you back. <clears throat> I hate that she hung up on me. That destroys my ego. It completely destroyed my ego there. It was, it was on the verge of insulting even. Ah. I hope she answers before CCT's got to go to bed. Come on. Pick up the phone. We're losing viewers here. Come on, you Indian scammers. We don't want people to go to bed. Night, CCT. Appreciate you. Hello? Hello? Can you help me? I, I lost my chest. Let's see here. Uh, okay, here's another one we can call. We'll try it. She may have blocked the number because she possibly very well could have done it. Not sure. I could ask her out. I could, the Irish. I don't know how to do the Irish accent. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Hmm. Come on now. Do me a solid and pick up the freaking phone, you scammers. I might have to go back and call that other number. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message and your call will be returned as soon as possible. Okay, we know that worked. We'll try this one again. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the Uper accent, Upper Peninsula, yeah. I have something linked to your email. Thank you, full name. Appreciate that. Hello? Is this? Oh, I thought they answered. Hello, Jeremy. Good to your see you. call has been forwarded to the voicemail oh. for Joseph Lucent. No one is available to take your call at the top. Okay, all right. Well, uh... Let's try the first number again. I'm going to see if this, because I want you all to hear this. Somebody cleverly hacked into their their uh, their stuff. 
Um, okay, Jeremy is uh, looking forward to seeing the new two ounce salivate round and a couple of other grabs. Cool. Thanks, Jeremy. Jeremy Ladin, I appreciate that, my friend. Hope you like it. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, buddy. Very kind of you. All right. Yeah, because you save on shipping. And by the way, the Queen's Beast capsule will fit those, just so you know. All right. We might have to go back here. Now, let's try this one. We're just going down. We're, we're literally calling left and right here, trying to see if we can get some some bites here from some scammers as we slurp some water now all out of coffee oh dang it that one doesn't work uh, let's see here social security scammer okay let's try this one Got my family into metals. Very good, Armored Gaming. That's awesome. Call the Fed. There we go. XX11. Appreciate it. I thought the Sal round was in the QB series. A saliv salivation. There he goes. Silver backstacker. It's in the Queen's B series. No Queenie. Hello, Barbara El Nabi. Can you do Inspector Clouseau? No, I don't. I I can't do Inspector Clouseau. In fact, I forgot what he sounds like. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll have to watch a video of it, see if I can do that one. But I'm not very good at impressions. Uh, typically, I usually weasel my way into another accent on accident. I don't see how some of these actors do it. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message, and your call will be returned as soon as possible. No, it won't. It won't be. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Um, hmm. Call from Bank of America. Let's see here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, called from Microsoft. Let's try this one. Let's hope we get a bite here. It's a bad it's a bad French accent, okay. It's Inspect the Crusoe. It's about the French accent here. I'm mean, gonna I've got Napoleon the complex. I don't think I'm I'm that's more Italian than uh sorry. That was a bad French accent too. See more butts, grow up a little, stop the nasty oral fixation or lose subscribers. Hmm. Oh man, see more butts. Maybe I should stop the nasty oral fixations or lose subscribers. Hmm, says the guy with the name Seymour Butts. He's unsubscribed to me. No, Seymour Butts. I will do whatever you say. I've got to keep Seymour Butts as a viewer, people, as a subscriber. Even if I lose everybody else, I've got to keep reverse the call charges. There you go, Armored Gaming. Let's see. I wonder what Seymour Butts meant by nasty oral fixations. What did I say? Alan put a hit on Sal. Alan's never hit on me. Hmm. Oh. That's right, Barbara. I've got to sound suspicious at the same time. Hmm. I'm, I'm very suspicious. I've seen more butts. Uh, he comes on here and he's, uh, he's very fixated on my oral cavity for some reason that he's unsubscribed to me. That sounds, still sounds more Italian than French. We 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 yeah maybe I say we we and I'm very suspicious of the Seymour butts. The fact that I have to say suspicious means that I'm not very convincing at sounding suspicious. <laughs> That's right. There we go. We're having a little fun here. I guess Seymour butts has got something stuck up his butt. I guess I don't know, but we've lost him as a subscriber. People, this is not good. We've lost. We've got to try to get Seymour butts to come back. Let's see here. And he has been a viewer for a while, but he has, I, I think there's, I think I have offended him a couple of times. Um, 
Uh, let's see here. But uh, yeah, liked his liked videos. None of my videos are in his liked videos section. So not a single one of my videos are in his liked videos section. So he's not really been a fan of mine anyway. So he loves Mr. McJuggernauts, apparently. And he also was really looking forward to that uh, Rocket Man movie coming out this year. It's probably already out. I probably missed it. But anyways. Oh, man. Hello, I'm Buck. No more scissors today. He's seen enough butts. That's right. Alan Gold is never offended. That's true. He's never offended. You cannot offend Alan Gold. Let's see here. Now, Tom, I won't. Uh, I'll sub oh, thank you, XX11. He's going to subscribe in his place. You can't offend the queen. There you go. Thank you, XXX. I appreciate that, my friend. And Pudenda Johnson, we like your videos. Well, thank you, Pudenda. You made my day. So we lost one subscriber and gained another. And we've got Pudenda Johnson here. Very nice. Appreciate that. You made me happy. I appreciate it. But I I'm not going to ban Seymour Butts. If he wants to come back, maybe he'll be in a better mood. Who knows? Let's try to call another scammer real quick here. Um, let's see here. See, the thing is, is they, uh, uh, let's see here. The problem is they recognize a number, which means that um, more than likely they can block it. If they can see it, they can block it. So they have probably blocked off that number. Okay, let's see here. You're all good now. Yes, I'm all good now. That's right. I'm, I'm back to being good now. Let's see here. Hello, our office is currently closed. Please leave your name, phone number, and file number, and your call will be returned on the next business day. That might be a legitimate business. I mean, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay. Because uh, it didn't say who that was, but anyways. Let me try one other thing here. We're going to do a Hail Mary. I can't hide the number. I don't think on this little particular thing. It won't let me hide it. Uh, let's let's try this again. No. Um, okay, let's try this one one more time. This is our Hail Mary, our last attempt to call a scammer today. We got through through them one other time before, but uh, <laughs> call Seymour to slurp on his phone. Ah, yes. Is it ringing? Hello? There it's ringing. Here we go. Where's the silver? The call has been forwarded to the voicemail for Joseph Lucent. No one is available. That's to weird. Joseph Lucent. Okay, let me try one. I'm going to try one other place. I've got one other place here. Come on. Here we go. From Arkansas. Hello, Nathaniel Lee. I appreciate Nathaniel Lee is here from Arkansas. Good to see you, Nathaniel. Hello. Welcome, sir. Remember that call? I'm going to call my ex-wife in Asheville. Expensive from England. That's right. That's right. Um, so he was married to somebody from Asheville, North Carolina, where the uh, Victorian mansion, there's their big mansion, the Vanderbilts, right? Um so what happened, XXX, if you don't mind me asking, maybe that might be too personal because it's now his ex there. But anyways, all right, let's see here. Okay. Uh, what is this one here? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try this. Let's give this a shot. Uh, oh, it wants to use something else here. No, let's not do that one. I don't know much about that one. Let's see here. Social Security. Administration. Social Security Administration scam. Let's try this one. Hello, Nathaniel Lee. Doing all right. Hanging in there. We're just calling the um, we're calling the 
some of these scammers here. Tom Sewer, call Sal, the public will use you as a doormat if you don't take drastic action against Seymour Butts. Well, he left. So if he left, then there's no action to take, right? MNG, hello, good to see you. I wonder if he left a dislike before he left. I think he did. Because there's three thumbs down in this video now. I'm sure one of those is Seymour Butts. Uh, subscribe to Seymour Butts. All right, no luck getting hold of this Social Security Administration scammer. Uh, but there's another one here. Let's try this one here. There's a couple of numbers we can try for this. Try two more numbers, and that's it. Two more. Trying, guys. I'm trying to get another. Let's see here. Caught that hack block. The sound. I think it was a good to see hackers doing some good work. Yes, yes, me too. I agree. Love it when they do that. I've never seen that before. I've heard about it, but I've never actually seen it. Some of these numbers are probably offline now, and I'm calling them. Let's try this one here. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh. Yep, nothing there. Which means they probably are... Uh, one more number here. Let's see if we can find... see here uh where are we at okay trying this one here auto renewal let's see this one may be we might have to be careful with this and we'll try it here let's see here call the queen of england that would be nice Call the old uh, Elizabeth II. Seymour Butts is back. Seymour Butts, we have somebody that subscribed in your place. But if you want to subscribe again, can you like some of my videos, please? I'm playing on my mama's phone. Can you please? Uh... Yes. Let me see here. We're not having much luck, Seymour Butts, here. Can we have Seymour Butts? Let's see here. Seymour Butts, can you do me a favor? Can you like this video and like some of my other videos? I'm going to see them on your liked videos page, please. We see here. Let's see if we got this here. So far, your last liked video is uh, Rocket Man. All right. All right, Donna, New Mexico, have a good one. Summertime, night time, supper time, not summertime. He's going to have a spaghetti for supper, everybody. Donald, New Mexico is about to eat spaghetti. I've, I've, I've called it right here. It's fake supper for Donald. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. All right, figures, yeah. All right, so yeah, Seymour, so Seymour, I think maybe Seymour butts really does. He, he I think he still likes me. I think he still likes me. Ah, oh, yeah. That's some good water right there. That's a very tasty water for Barbara Carbone. Uh, let's see here. All right. Thank you, guys. Hey, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to have to head off of here. Um, I think we've won the good graces of Seymour Butts back, which is good. All right. All right. Very good here. Appreciate you guys, a multitude of gratitude and all that stuff, and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful evening. We had some fun. Groovy, thank you, Barbara. I was hoping you, 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 you hoid that. I was hoping you hoid it. Very good. Hello, Vogus. Good to see you, Vogus. Appreciate all you guys. Appreciate you being here. A multitude of gratitude. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Remember, keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. I appreciate all you guys being here and participating. Have a good one. Take care. See you guys later.